Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, vision-threatening pathologies continue to exist. As ophthalmologists, our examination is a huge component in assessing these pathologies, and we are oftentimes within inches of our patient. In light of this, we wanted to share a quick video on how to create a slit lamp barrier shield to help mitigate transmission. For this, you'll need a thermal laminator, a standard piece of paper, marker, ruler, lamination sheets, blade, and cardboard. A thermal laminator can be purchased for around $20 and may be more economical than purchasing heavier transparent paper. This template will essentially allow you to trace a 4 inch by 1.5 inch rectangular cutout on your laminated shields. To create this, mark 3 inches from the top of your paper. Create the same mark a couple inches away, then make a mark 2 and a quarter inches from each side of your marks. Connect the dots and you've created your template. To maximize the durability and sturdiness of your barrier device, Insert one of your laminated sheets into the other. Make sure it is nice and even. Then run this through your thermal laminator. We're halfway there. Next, grab your paper template and trace your drawing onto the laminated shield with a marker. Place a piece of cardboard underneath your shield and use a blade to cut out the rectangle. We don't recommend using scissors as they will generally not pierce the thickness of this shield. And just like that, you have your final product which can now be easily slipped over the oculars on your slit lamp without having to remove any of the slit lamp components. While these slit lamp shields help to mitigate droplet exposure between us and our patients, it will not eliminate it. Continue to exercise good hand hygiene and respiratory hygiene as recommended by the CDC. Clean the barrier shield device with wipes with at least 60% alcohol between patient exams. For more information on how to protect yourself and updates for ophthalmologists, visit the CDC website at cdc.gov and the AAO website at aao.org. Thank you.